sweetie pies. Uh, it's nice to have you there again. I can feel you out there, that vibration coming my way. Um, <clears throat> so I'm, I was going to move, but I ended up just reorganizing all of my clothing. I've never had it this organized before. And I am amazed by my, <laughs> my collection of colors. I mean, I just love these, this, this deep green and this, this, I didn't go spring green, I guess. It's both from Old Navy, by the way. This is one that Anka gave me. Nice little purple. No, it's casual, but the, the purple factor. <laughs> it's, it's Gap, it's not the best design. Avoid Gap unless somebody's giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Anka. She knows how I feel about Gap, though. They, you know, they're just kind of, everything's clunky. Everything's clunky. It's like, it's so not sexy. It's not chic. It's not sexy. It's not hip. Kind of looks like you're hiding. If you have stuff from the Gap. Don't see me. Don't see me, please. This is, this is really funny. This is like, from when I first started shopping at American Apparel and I didn't dare go into the girls section because they think I was a perv, I thought. But I liked, you know, I liked the body fit of it. But I just, there's really, I don't know if you can get much more masculine than this in, in American Apparel. <laughs> it's gray and clunky. You know, it's the, not always, but I think sometimes the seams Sweeties, don't go away. Um, the seams are kind of heavier on the boy side. I don't know. You, you know, you kind of get the idea. It's army. <laughs> it's army stuff. It's funny. I, you know, I was so afraid to walk onto the girls' side and, and look there. I, um, I'm lucky. I went on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley, and a uh, woman there was very accepting. Even though I was like totally freaked out, I was so freaked out. I bought. I don't know, maybe I can. I, if I find it, I'll show it to you. But it was just a T-shirt that's just slightly queer, you know, what slightly feminine. I so, said, you know, I, you know, it's a little wider than I've ever had, it's showing more collarbone, very feminine. And you know, I just thought that people would stare or something. I was really worried. But she was very supportive, the, the girl at American Apparel. Like, oh, the boy's here, I always shop on the girl's side. But now it's just like, <laughs> you know, I don't even care, you know. I just go to the girl's side. I mean, why the hell would I waste time looking in the boy's clothes? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, this was very early, too. This was after my first time at Burning Man. I, I started getting involved with the dance, the ecstatic dance community. <laughs> I was looking for a Burning Man. I had a Burning Man Ken show experience at Burning Man Enlightenment. But, you know, I found these at Cotton Basics. It's a local, it's a local store. I like them. They started by dyeing American apparel stock in nice colors. <laughs> now they have their own. I, I think it's one dyer, man, one ma master dyer, and, and you know, I love what she's doing. I love her vision here, the kind of color she puts on. But so I wore pink for the first time. This is the first pink thing I've ever worn. But I wore it, wore it with like a big jacket and a big hat, which <laughs> I'll show you in a minute. Bye bye, sweetie. Don't want this to get too long now. Take care.